And standing from up here, it's really great to see that all of you mingle around and networking and discussing about um, crowdfunding. Um, so since the morning, we discussed a lot about and heard a lot about crowdfunding and its economic and business impact. But what about the social community and the role that crowdfunding play in social space? So in this next panel, you will hear from practitioners and platform providers who have their own experiences setting the path to create a better tomorrow. So ladies and gentlemen, um, let us welcome our moderator, Kun Chai Jaren at the pad. Kun Chai Jaren is the president of ASEAN CIO Association. He has had more than 40 years of experience in petroleum industry, and he is very active in leading CIO classes and associations, including the, um, currently serving as, as the president of ASEAN CIO Association. And next, let me introduce um, our first panelist, Kun Thirapong Tang Thirasunan. Please join me to welcome him on stage. <laughs> Dr. Tira Pong is the board member of the Highland Research and Development Institute and the vice president of the Bamboo and Alternative Energy Association of Thailand. He had a career in bank for agricultural and uh, agriculture and agricultural cooperative bank. And um, so, um, it's very good to have him with us here today. And next, um, may I invite Kun Chai Siri Gangwan Yotsak. Like Kun Hong Sin, he is a cybersecurity guy, turns into crowdfunding expert. And he's the platform creator for Sin Watana crowdfunding platform in Bangkok. <laughs> next, I would like to invite Kun Sunit Cheta. He's the founder of the Change Fusion, a nonprofit institute on catalyzing social enterprise in Thailand. He is also an Ashoka Fellow in 2009 and has been engaged in different areas of social innovations. Last but not least, may I invite Mr. Tim Cheng, CEO of Flying We Taiwan. Flying We Taiwan is the largest reward-based crowdfunding platform in Asia in terms of the number of projects and the amount funded. The Flying We was started in 2012 and is currently serving hundreds of projects and tripled in growth in the last past three years. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the panel discussion. Thank you. Uh, well, last for today, right? Oh, oh, sorry, it's not last. Next is going to be a pitch perfect. That's, that's going to be excited uh, yeah, even after us. So uh, why don't we start with, actually uh, in the programs you may see that uh, we have one more gentleman uh, uh, to be with us, but uh, unfortunately he, he knew that he cannot make it today. Uh, Dr. Theresa our president of uh, one of our, actually Thailand uh, R&D uh, guru. Yeah. So uh, let's us hear something about uh, uh, crowdfunding from him. He will be on video clip. It's going to be Thai, but of course, uh, subtitle is in English. So please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Theresa, you'd like to just give an introduction about yourself? Today we we'll, we like to discuss with you about uh, your views about crowdfunding. So what is your experience um, about crowdfunding? I crowdfunding. I have a lot 
พัฒนาผู้ประกอบการทางด้านวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีเนี่ยผมมองเห็นว่าเป็นเรื่องสําคัญมากครับ What are the typical challenges uh, in seeking for research funding since you have been in this whole research space for this long time? Uh, ในประเทศไทยเริ่มจะดีขึ้นดีขึ้นตามลําดับแต่หากว่าผมจะต้องออกไปเป็นผู้ประกอบการหรือว่านักวิจัยผมอยากจะออกสู่การเป็นผู้ประกอบการหรือ entrepreneur เนี่ยการหาทุนที่จะทําธุรกิจเนี่ยจะค่อนข้างยากอาจจะต้องอาศัยเงินของญาติพี่น้องเงินของคุณพ่อคุณแม่ถึงจะสตาร์ทได้นะครับแต่ว่าในระยะหลังเนี่ยเราก็พบว่าผลงานวิจัยหลายอันเนี่ยนะครับมีคุณค่าพอที่จะให้สังคมเนี่ยมันเป็นผู้มีส่วนร่วมในการร่วมลงทุนทําให้เกิดอะไรที่ใหญ่ๆขึ้นมาได้ก็เลยมองเห็นว่ากลไกคลาวด์ฟันดิ้งน่าจะเป็นกลไกสําคัญอันหนึ่งที่จะทําให้มีผู้ประกอบการรายใหม่ๆที่มีผลิตภัณฑ์หรือบริการทางด้านวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีครับ Do you foresee the use of crowdfunding in the field of research in digital edge? การใช้ crowdfunding สำหรับธุรกิจที่เป็นวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีหรือ IT น่าจะเป็นกลไกที่มีประสิทธิภาพอย่างมากผมได้ติดตามการทำงานของบริษัท Kickstarter หรือ Indiegogo มาระยะหนึ่งนะครับทุกครั้งที่เข้าไปดูก็จะเห็นว่าบรรดาผู้ที่มาเรียรายเงินให้เกิดสิ่งที่สำคัญสำคัญในโลกเนี่ยแต่และคนเนี่ยมีแรงบันดาลใจค่อนข้างสูงแล้วก็สิ่งที่เขานำเสนอเนี่ยมันมีประโยชน์ต่อสังคมมากๆทำให้เราเองเนี่ยก็อยากจะใส่เงินกับจริงๆก็ใส่เข้าไปจริงๆนะครับเพื่อว่าจะทำให้เขาประสบความสาเร็จแต่สิ่งที่เขามอบให้เราเนี่ยก็เป็นสิ่งที่มีประโยชน์กับเราจริงๆเหตุการณ์แบบนี้เนี่ยอยากให้คนไทยเนี่ยมีความสามารถเช่นเดียวกับที่ชาวต่างชาติเขาทํากันแล้วก็เนื้อหาสาระที่เป็นประโยชน์สําหรับสังคมไทยก็มีอยู่มากพอสมควรจึงได้อยากจะเริ่มตรงนี้และอยากจะเชื่อมต่อ crowdfunding เนี่ยเข้ากับกลไกการสนับสนุนทุนวิจัยของภาครัฐ This this question is close to your heart, นะ What is your vision in NASA that you believe can add value to the digital society of Thailand and potentially the world? งานของสวทชหลายอันเนี่ยมีประโยชน์ต่อสังคมมากแล้วเมื่อเราผลักดันเข้าไปสู่การใช้งานส่วนใหญ่เราจะประสบความลำบากคือต้องออกแรงเยอะเพื่อจะให้หน่วยงานภาครัฐอีกหน่วยงานหนึ่งเนี่ยเขารับไปใช้งานหรือว่าใช้ซื้อจำนวนมากหรือเราจะต้องปลุกปล้ำนะฮะให้ภาคเอกชนเนี่ยเขามีความสามารถในการผลิตผลงานที่เกิดจากการวิจัยของเราเนี่ยผมมองเห็นความลําบากของภาคเอกชนที่จะต้องเรียกว่าระดมเงินทุนมาทํางานจึงได้มีความคิดว่าคนในสวทชเองนั้นเนี่ยก็ควรจะต้องมีการเข้าใจเรื่องกลไกของคราวฟันดิ้งถ้าดีสุดเนี่ยก็คงจะต้องทดลองเองเลยนะครับและสิ่งที่เราจะต้องทดลองก็ควรจะเป็นผลงานซึ่งมีประโยชน์มากต่อสังคมก็เลยขอให้ทีมงานของเรานะฮะที่เน็กเทคได้ทดลองทำกันดูครับ Okay and um, you know will, in your opinion will crowdfunding be here to stay กลไก crowdfunding เนี่ยแม้ว่าจะเพิ่งเริ่มในประเทศไทยแต่มองกันจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยตั้งแต่สมัยรัชกาลที่ห้านะครับก็ได้เมื่อเมื่อท่านสวรรคตเนี่ยก็ได้มีการเรียกรายเงินนะครับเพื่อสร้างอนุสาวรีย์ของท่านแล้วก็คนไทยเนี่ยมีจิตศรัทธาเยอะเงินที่สร้างอนุสาวรีย์เนี่ยล้นหลังส่วนที่เหลือเนี่ยนำไปสร้างจุฬาลงกรณ์มหาวิทยาลัยได้เลยนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นความยิ่งใหญ่ของคราวความยิ่งในประเทศไทยเนี่ยเคยมีมาก่อนหากว่าเราใช้สิ่งนั้นเนี่ยให้ถูกวิธีนํามาพัฒนาสังคมด้วยวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีหรือด้วยดิจิทัลเทคโนโลยีส่งเสริมให้นักนวัตกรรมของไทยได้มีโอกาสเข้าสู่ตลาดโลกที่ใหญ่ๆสิ่งนี้น่าจะเกิดขึ้นได้และก็จะอยู่กับประเทศไทยต่อไปครับขอบคุณมากค่ะนะ But I have one last surprise question for you Yes <laughs> Okay um, I I learned that you are going to take lead on the ASEAN Committee Uh, of science and technology, our conference. Uh, what is your plan 
um, with regards to crowdfunding uh, in this particular uh, conference that you're going to be holding? And when will that be? And where will that be? ในเดือนพฤษภาคมปี2558นะครับประเทศไทยเนี่ยจะเป็นเจ้าภาพการประชุมคณะกรรมการว่าด้วยวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีของอาเซียนโดยกระทรวงวิทยาศาสตร์เนี่ยจะจัดที่ภูเก็ตเราก็จะมีตัวแทนจากประเทศต่างๆมานะครับในอาเซียนนี่ครับได้มีกรรมการนี้ซึ่งพยายามที่จะยกระดับวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีของอาเซียนให้สูงขึ้นตัวผมเองในฐานะที่ดูแลวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีของประเทศไทยก็เห็นอุปสรรคในประเทศเพื่อนบ้านเช่นเดียวกันก็คือว่าทําอย่างไรเราถึงจะนําวิทยาศาสตร์และเทคโนโลยีไปใช้ประโยชน์ที่สังคมสัมพันธ์ได้การขยายผลตรงนี้อย่างงานวิจัยเนี่ยย่อมจะต้องใช้เงินทุนและเงินทุนจากภาครัฐอย่างเดียวไม่พอครับควรจะใช้เงินทุนของประชาชนที่มีจิตศรัทธาและก็มีความสนใจในสิ่งที่มีประโยชน์เราก็เลยจัดเวิร์กช็อปเกี่ยวกับคราวฟันดิ้งให้กับอาเซียนก็คงจะรบกวนคุณของสินนะครับมาร่วมในกิจกรรมของเราแล้วก็จัดสิ่งนี้ขึ้นมาเพื่อให้ประเทศไทยเนี่ยมีกลไกสนับสนุนคราวฟันดิ้งอย่างแท้จริงทั้งในระดับเล็กๆจนกระทั่งถึงระดับใหญ่ๆครับขอบคุณ thank you thank you ดรทวีศักดิ์ and uh... Hong Sin, right? It's Hong Sin too. Uh, she uh, did interview Dr. Tuya Sak probably, I, I don't know how many days ago, but uh, I think uh, for us, for Thai people, you may see that uh, uh, this organization already moved an experience on, on crowdfunding for research and technologies. Instead of uh, in the past, they're always waiting for government budget. But now, another alternative, crowd, funding from the crowds. This create a faster, make it happen faster. Uh, even though innovation, as uh, Dr. Tvisak mentioned, will lead to the social, will lead to the communities. That's what his dream, that's what his target. Now back to our panels. Yes, uh, among us, we have, uh, well, not a Thai name, sorry, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Tim, you are uh, US born, but uh, back to your own Taiwan, uh, a big giant innovation country to me. And you form a very well known, right now it's very well known flying V. Uh, this is, uh, you know, incredible. Three years or four years now? Yeah, um, we're going into our, uh, we're almost finishing up on our third, four, third full year and heading into our fourth year. Four years, and you are the biggest crowdfunding and in, uh, in uh, what you call... Uh, in, in Taiwan, in definitely. I hope, still in Asia, unless there's okay. something I don't know about. <laughs> okay. okay, great. So... Shall you, can you share us on your, well, I would like to say a dream. Why you go back? Your dream should be there. A big, big, uh, giant USA. But you go back to uh, 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 your own loving countries and, and, and create this kind of thing. What is your dream? And so far, do you achieve on that, your dream yet? Thank you. Uh, my dream personally, no. Um, my dream is to be a billionaire, but I'm still <laughs> quite far away from that. <laughs> um, well, uh, for me, I, I've been living in Taiwan for 10 years now. And we've been doing Flying V for the past three years. And before that, uh, without my experiences before, and we, it, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing Flying V, or I wouldn't even be qualified to even think about it. So everything le leads up to a certain point. And... Um, the reason for, uh, for crowdfunding, the, the, what we wanted to do in general was uh, me and my partner, we saw, we, we came from very different backgrounds, but uh, like anything else, we see a demand in society. You know, Taiwan, in a way, is, even though we look different, but in, a, in many ways, is similar to the US. Mm, you used to have a strong middle class and all that, but um, lately, economies, 
kind of stalling. And the, uh, there was a big uh, wealth gap, young people complaining about you know, not finding good jobs out of college. And, and it's interesting because every generation thinks they have it the hardest, right? Our parents would tell us, oh, I used to go to school barefoot. Uh, you guys have it easy. But uh, with every new problem, there is a new, new, new tools to address it. And while we noticed that there is a, because before in our field, um, we deal with a lot of um, people with financial background. So we, we see uh, these VC funds or, or, or you know, in the bank, banking industry complain about they can't find anything to invest in, right? And then you have all young creativity complaining about, oh, I got all this, but nobody, nobody wants to fund me. Supply so, meet demand. So it's very, very, it's very interesting. You got people with too much money, don't know where to put it. Mm -hmm. You got people that all they need is money, it seems like. And so there is a big, uh, I guess, knowledge gap or, um, uh, not knowledge gap, but uh, there is a, quite a few steps in between. Mm -hmm. And crowdfunding to me serves as a first step. And of course, when we started talking about it in 2011, Kickstarter had already been around for a couple of years. At, at this point, in Taiwan, you already have anybody else except you no. on, on crowdfunding? No, we're, 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 um, we're the first one. I think there's one that launched around the same time as us, but uh, we're definitely one of the first two. And so, 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 so before we think about it, there is none. So you were born after Kickstarter, so right right after Kickstarter. Yeah, well, Kickstarter has been around for a couple of years. So it's a so the reason we learned about or we, we thought about crowdfunding was because of Kickstarter, and um, so of course we have to think about how will we do it? Would it work? How much money do we lose before we say it doesn't work? You know, same old. And so when we started. The toughest thing, we, we, we realized that, of course, a platform, and the reason we picked rewards is because rewards, crowdfunding is the first step. We've wanted to do equity and lending, but regulation, and more than that, um, just the general understanding of the public. Right? You can't, we can't go from zero to 100. And so, uh, but ever since before we launched, we've worked with various, uh, we've tried to communicate with various government agencies, and of course, it ended up in the SEC also. And so before, all, while we were doing that, reward-based crowdfunding, because to do the way, what we want to do, our, our dream, I guess, is we want to create this, it should be a, like a funnel. A funnel where you encourage as much creativity as possible at step one in rewards. Mm -hmm. And then you trickle down and, the, and we try to set up uh, a, a good step two and three. And equity crowdfunding could be maybe step three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step three. I, I, I still believe between rewards and equity, there is still a lot to be done, right? Did you touch on donation type first? Or? No, uh, I'm a strong believer in um, uh, you have to have rewards. Every project needs to have rewards. And I'm a strong believer in all or nothing. Give and take. Yeah, if you set a goal, mm -hmm. you should justify your goal. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be I want a million dollars. I don't know why. You should justify your goal. And if you can't even do that on a single product, yeah. you sh you're not really qualified to do anything else. And for us to grow, uh, and when we started, um, it, was, it was interesting because imagine if nobody's heard of crowdfunding and you're trying to tell them just by talking. People were warning me about, oh, you don't want to go to jail. <laughs> this sounds shady. But of course, uh, it's really easy to understand if you look at a platform and you've been through the process, then it's really easy to understand. But, uh, so education, like uh, what Jason was saying earlier, education is definitely the uh, hardest but most necessary part. Because think about it, you have people that's never heard of crowdfunding, mm -hmm. and then they could become people that's heard of crowdfunding. They could become backers. Then they become creators. And creators, there's all a bunch of different types of creators. There are creators that really know what they're doing, and there are creators that have a totally messed up view of what they should be, what they should do. And, and uh, so I guess the goal for a platform is how do you get people to just, uh, just post their projects instead of looking for it when you first start, right? And that's, that's what I believe is your brand value or core value. At that certain point, there's a, 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 a well, there's a question on localized platform and other big guys. How, how you well, you said you mentioned about education. 
how you take this win? Okay. Well, we have to do everything step by step, and uh, you know, people sometimes say, "Oh, so you're kind of in the internet business." I really don't think so. Most of our efforts has nothing to do with the internet. The internet is an interface for payment and you know, information sharing. Um, so with education, at first, there's a you have to work with the uh, step by step. At first, we spend a lot more time on our each each creator, and then as we have more more uh, projects, we started working with uh, different uh, government agencies, different universities, uh, different associations, or of different industries. And now, we host, uh, we have online courses, we host uh, various workshops, and also our uh, case studies are in several universities. And several professors uh, have, have been implementing uh, a, a Flying V project as their kind of their um, education, their um, and and the course project. So yeah, we're we're trying to spread like a virus. We're trying to be everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, and and a large and a, another thing, a large part of it is, we're I'm a we're a firm believer in uh, having all the data open, and also, um, we don't we don't um, our policy is there's no good and bad ideas, mm -hmm. because the whole point is to kind of you know. Have, let everybody have a chance, and so we have. As long as it's not illegal, and you could justify it, go then ahead. go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I did uh, visit your website. Uh, seems too localized to me. <laughs> Sorry, so, it's all yeah, it's in <laughs> Chinese. Yes. Uh -huh. um, the reason for that is, uh, at first, uh, our, most of our Actually, most of our creators will have to be from Taiwan, and Chinese is the national language. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, besides English, Chinese is pretty much the most, well, most people speak it, I guess. And if we want to have an English version, mm -hmm. um, there's a couple ways to do it. There's ways where all co creator content would have to be in English, right? Yeah. And who does that? Yeah. What do I do with past projects? And uh, uh, one way I would do it is, uh, as we start collaborations with other countries. Right now we have uh, creators from other countries too that have their partners in Taiwan do it for them. Mm -hmm. But as we you know, have collaborations with, with other countries, um, we would probably have a select section for English-based bilingual projects, mm -hmm. a, sep a separate section, instead of doing the whole entire platform in, in uh, two languages. That's probably what we do. And um, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I think translation should be the job of the creator, right? You would do it for any other part of your business. Why not crowdfunding? Okay, great. So you are now more is uh, moving toward equity base soon. Well, actually, we've had the platform ready for about two years now, <laughs> <laughs> and we, we we go to the SEC like what once a week. <laughs> but um, regulation is one, and also uh, I, I still do think people, the public. Because it's easier to educate people on reward base, and then you educate them on on equity, so people understand exactly what they're doing. And and um, so, besides regulation, the timing is very important. And what's cool about the funnel there is, um, so we have we, we, let's say we have a thousand projects, um, and let's say five of them are successfully funded, and another half would possibly could go to the next step, either a loan or debt. All the stuff they did before on Flying V should serve as a support, good supporting material for, for the future, for, for either equity or whatever they do in the future. I'm a, I, I believe that you should never do something just for crowdfunding. Mm. Everything should be reused. Okay. So, great. I hope you uh, for really good going up, 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 and up, fly more. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> well, uh, I, c I will go back to, to you uh, after we chat with, with uh, our gangs of ties. <laughs> uh, next to you, actually, Mr. Uh, Sunit. He's uh, one of our activity on, on uh, social enterprise. Uh, uh, from yesterday, today, and actually, actually, I would like to see your, your tomorrow vision on... Uh, uh, actually, you started with the localized, like him, Thailand. 
and now you, I think you try to expand, right? Yeah, can you more or less uh, tell us a bit about your uh, change, uh, for first change fusion? Yeah. Hi, um, happy afternoon for you all. Um, it's very late, but I uh, hope you still have all the energy. Um, we can crowdsource some energy here. Um, so I'm from Change Fusion. We are uh, actually a nonprofit under a foundation, um, which uh, focus on supporting social entrepreneurs in, in Thailand. Um, when we say social entrepreneurs, we mean those people who uh, see the social or environmental problems and try to come up with innovative or creative solutions to solve that um, and turn that into a kind of business, which uh, many times are called social enterprise. And, and many times it just starts with a simple, small projects, which eventually could become an enterprise afterwards. So, um, so we have been, you know, launching different incubation program for these enterprises with, with them, different people. We have been launching, actually we, we partner with uh, you know, uh, asset management company in Thailand uh, called Bua Luang, which we uh, work with another foundation in Bua Luang to launch like a, a Thailand first socially responsible investment fund, which is called Be Kind, um, which was a very small part of the fund actually go into social investment. Um, and, and, and different other things, but uh, we could see that there's a uh, big issues like I think this morning also many people were saying like it's really difficult for for people when they just want to get started and they don't know like where to get the, the funding from and and you know in, in Thailand actually the government have very limited resource so they cannot you know fund all the experimental projects and so on and all the foundations also are running out of money kind of so so um this crowdfunding is a alternative models and, and we initially we tried to launch it to support our own entrepreneurs or a group of entrepreneurs so we set up something called tejai.com uh web tejai tejai.com um, which you can have a look and if we have some time today yeah. we will just Te show you a little bit tejai is mean uh, give the heart. Yeah. So uh, te in Thai mean like kind of give or almost like throw. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like ice bucket if you remember. So te jai and, and jai is a uh, heart. So uh, which actually our co-founder coined this term and said that you know in, in Thailand we only connect with the hate. You know like uh, our brain connect to each other and so everything become strategic and everything but sometimes a little bit sad. So if we also have some hard connections, you know, and, and we invest and back and support people, then so that's where the, the name came from. Um, so Tejai is a crowd giving platform. So it's it's uh, it's basically donations to to innovative social projects. Um, anything from um, you know very simple, interesting thing like uh, you know like there are a lot of disability dogs around in Thailand. They you know dogs with leg got cut off. So there are people who are doing like a, a wheelchair for dogs. <laughs> so so they, they raise one from this thing to, to create that prototype and, and, and work with the animals kind of protection group to, to work on that. The, Although, big, the yeah. biggest animal probably elephant. Yeah, next, mm -hmm. next, yeah. Uh, next target. <laughs> All the way to um, like uh, social enterprise working on um, like YouTube based education on calculus teaching which have like, you know, when, when would they start working with us, they have 1.5 million views on YouTube on calculus uh, in high school teaching. Uh, and they want to provide like free, high quality accessible uh, content. Um, so, and, and now they, they went over two something, three millions already. So, um, so, so very broad range. So, um, so, so up to, so it's kind of in the stealth mode because uh, this is, but the end of our second year and beginning, just beginning of the third year, um, and uh, it's known mostly by our friends and it's only spread through mostly Facebook and people who are a little bit interested in these issues and we have supported around 60 projects um, and we raised around um, 4 million baht so far through, through, the, through the system. So it's, it's kind of slowly, slowly, but growing and find, we find a lot of exciting, interesting community there. Thai people's uh, their mental mentality is more or less give trust. Um, you may see that uh, a lot of Thai temples they have a lot of cash, 
Yes. Actually, uh, million, <laughs> millions of uh, uh, baht uh, per temples. Um, how we move some of those trust? Yeah. Um, we, I, I, I'm talking about religion no tra trust, uh, personal yeah. trust right. in particular, uh, uh, what you call building, particular temples, into being into innovation society like uh, Tim did. Yes. So, uh, so far, have you seen these this issues? Um, it's, it's, it's quite difficult, but I think actually Thai people want to give. We, it, any global survey, we are always on the top, you know, like we give the most always. So, but if you look at the details, like ABAC poll did some polling and found that over 90% of other giving go to the temples, as you mentioned. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh, yeah. So, um, so, so I think for us, it's very challenging and we, we really got excited that um, so our, our main selling point is being creative mm -hmm. with community you can trust a little bit. Mm -hmm. So mostly it's spread to your friends that you see on your Facebook. So you, most of the time you only know about Tejai when your friend give to some interesting projects on your Facebook feed. And, and then you kind of, oh, this, I know this guy, what is going on with him, you know. And so you kind of go into this uh, website and, and do the same thing. Um, so, so I think at least what we really are happy with is number one, um, you know, in, in when we begin this thing, people say Thai people would never give to some new projects with no records, nothing, you know. Um, so at least we can show that if there's a very creative project with a clear impact, and also Tejai kind of act as a trust broker a, a little bit, um, then, then people tend to give, and especially if your friends kind of give that. So it's very peer, not pressure, but peer support <laughs> kind of thing, yeah. Well, uh, this guy, uh, these people, especially you, I think the, the, the behind the scene is the passion. Passion to, to give to, to the societies. Uh, moving from traditional uh, uh, given, now move to the digital type. You did it for about three years now. Uh, probably we go, go back with you uh, on, on Tejai website, and probably you can show us more on, on the, the website uh, uh, capability, those kind of things. Uh, both of you, uh, Tim, and you, you're about three years old, four years old. <laughs> now, the next to you, Mr. Chai Sili. Actually, he, sorry, he just born. <laughs> uh, in, in this kind of world, in this kind of uh, platform, um, I don't know, you may be one, the first or the second or the second or the third of the uh, local uh, crowdfunding platform in Thailand. Uh, I know it's difficult. Uh, everybody knows it's difficult. <laughs> uh, can you share with us probably exchange and gain anything from, from teams or, or your point of view? Please share with us on, on your move. Okay, thank you for the question. So I think, in fact, now in Thai, it's, uh, we start to have some crowdfunding platform growing and, and still see more in, increasing. This means that the industry in crowdfunding in Thailand is start to improve, which is really nice. Because uh, if we are the one or just one or two crowdfunding platform here, that's uh, maybe something might be wrong. I want to share a little bit about, about myself on the experience on crowdfunding, that why we really want to build the platform to serve uh, Thailand or maybe Asia. So maybe many years ago, when I, I, I when I was a student, I am at, uh, working as the computer scientist, and, uh, and i working on the senior project of the creating the wireless IDS. But your background is security, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I also programming background. I yes, and, and at that time, I really into it. I want to make it commercialized. <laughs> because, because, you know, uh, that time, security, um, we always bring in the, uh, the, the product, everything from, from foreigner, from US. Uh -huh. So why not we have the Thai brand? Yeah, so I really into it. Even I sleep or wake up, I think about the loo. Oh, I got <laughs> your, your, your point. This is a Thai name. Kap. Your is? Sin. Sin Vatana. Yeah, Sin Vatana. Sin is mean? Asset. Asset. Yeah, yes. Sin is mean asset. Yes. Vatana is mean growth. 
growth increase. Yeah. So it's Thai brand. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Thai. I'm proud to be a <laughs> yes. uh, Thai brand too. Thank you. So last time we also want to name it as an elephant security, something like that, mm -hmm. so so that we can serve. But anyway, at that time, I have no luxury. There is no crowdfunding, <laughs> and and my my family is uh, is good enough to just saw a graduate bachelor, so I have to be on my own. So I decide to work on the on, on, on the private company. So, but now it's different since the crowdfunding coming to the picture. It provide more channel for the student or startup tech startup everyone to become more start their own business unit to think about the innovation to start entrepreneurship. So, like I said, um, if we go back 10 years ago, maybe I, I, I really want I, I will be uh, on the startup. So now, now it's, uh, we got more choice for the student. And in fact, uh, we are not working only for the technology for Sinvatana. We also talk to some of the music because I have a friend on the, on the music college. Uh -huh. They sing really well. Uh -huh. And uh, they, I ask them, why don't you create some album or put on to commercial life? They said, because they don't have the channel. And the voice Thailand is just once a year. <laughs> and and uh, maybe they're, they're uh, not suitable to come there. So I challenge them, why don't you put the music to crowdfunding? Because it's internet, right? You can record your song really nice and put on crowdfunding and ask for the, for the support from the crowd. And then you give them the reward. Like uh, if they donate, you give them some of your album or, or something. So I, we think that it's possible and we are driving them now. And we also working not only the tech, the music, the animator. Actually, one of the, our official partner, who is uh, Kunti Lapong, the Bamboo Association is here. We really want to see the bamboo, assos, bamboo economy happen here in Thailand. So later he's going to share. And when working with Sinvatana platform, um, we, I think we work very really close to the campaigner. Uh -huh. Right now, we are really at the building state. Uh -huh. it, we just got some, now it's tea campaign now. But along the way, we are talking to many campaigners and we help them to prepare. Because uh, we discuss with them, it's not that uh, if you got the campaign, you throw it on the crowdfunding and it will success, it, it, that will not going to be happen. You must be do some pre, pre before crowdfunding. For example, you, after you finish your idea, you talk, you find some audience. So when you start crowdfunding, someone help you share more. It will be faster than you just share by yourself. And uh, suppose your campaign is 60 days, all of the 60 days, you must run very fast. You must do PR, you must promote, you must go to find your, the right market to support you so that the, your project will be success. And since uh, the equity platform is almost in Thailand now, I think it's really nice. <laughs> so maybe the elephant security. <laughs> so if, if they got successful on the rewards and then go to equity, then I think it's the new innovation will happen here. Oh, you already launched your, your platform? Yes. When, when was that? Um, the World Wide Web, sinvatana.com. When, uh, when, when was that? When? Um, we launched uh, two months ago. Oh, two months uh, ago. You talk about run, you talk about walk. Tim, yeah. you already run. <laughs> you, you, you already sit, uh, you know, sit, stand, and walk and run before him. Three years ago, four years ago. You have any suggestions so far for uh, just two months old, right? Two months old. Yeah, sorry for that. Um, I guess the, uh, just like any other company, the brand value is very, very important. Um, people need to know exactly what, what's the difference between you and what, what you stand for. And also, um, like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I, I want people to know that, okay, we're, um, we're, our data is open. There's a tr trust is gained, right? And also, uh, like I said, um, regardless of topic, that stuff like that, it's easy to say, but it's always, it'll always be tested. You know, something you'll get pressure for certain projects, you might receive pressure for, and then you gotta stick it through. So, um, and it, there's no fast way. 
I, I, I guess it would be my suggestion. Because um, I had, when we started, the crowdfunding is supposed to be a, 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 a new tool, a new rule, and maybe a new form of promotion. So I told my staff, I'm not gonna spend one cent on advertising. It's, it makes no sense. And, but um, it's kind of like when your platform is still small, um, what's the point of spending money to tell people to come? It's kind of like you have a mall, but with only two stores, right? But as you grow, and then members come with each project, and as you have more projects, some members will stay and become repeat. So there's no fast way. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I guess the one thing is to um, know exactly what your core value is, mm -hmm. and then um, s stick to it, yeah. Core value and core stick value. Just it. like any other company, yeah. 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 Um, at your early stage, well, the day that you launch, how many projects so far? The day you launch? The day of the launch? Uh -huh. uh, there's something like five or something. Five projects. Yeah. And today, four years ago, four uh, years now? A uh, thousand, around a thousand. And um, right now, funding, um, I didn't check, but maybe around a hundred or so funding right now. And our success rate is around 47%. Wow. 47%. Wow. And... Um, um, what our biggest categories are, in, but you know, I think sometimes categories are misleading just because the creators decide what category they are. Yeah. And a lot of times people would just pick social because it sounds cooler. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, biggest in terms of number of projects and would be uh, social, um, music and film and design goods, much like everywhere else. And people always talk about what about tech? What about tech? Well, the success for us, the success rate for tech projects are usually lower, but when the, the successful projects usually raise a high amount, wow. so it's a big disparity because mm -hmm. you know tech projects, and it's also what you define as tech, right? I th I I've found that projects that say they're tech, at, that are successful, uh -huh. are usually fun but useless. <laughs> 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 if it's really really practical, like a <laughs> consumer good, those are tough because people mm -hmm. want brand, people want it fast, and mm -hmm. sometimes crowdfunding is not the best way to do it. Okay, yeah. thanks. So we come back. You, you, Chesley, you mentioned about uh, Dr. Kepong's uh, bamboo. bamboo. Yeah. Uh, well, Thailand's agriculture, uh, original. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Tipong Kap, uh, you have uh, uh, um, been so far working in, in uh, this kind of agriculture business for many years. Uh, and also you are bankers, CEO, CEO of uh, one of the government bankers before. And now you are moving toward the digital. We are moving to the digitals. And you heard, you know, you news about uh, crowdfunding alternatives, uh, 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 funding for our agriculture uh, industry. Uh, how you move uh, and what you think about this, uh, especially in your bamboo. Probably you, you touched a bit on bamboos first, uh, because uh, some of us may not know that, hey, we waste a lot of bamboos. <laughs> and then after that, you can touch on, on crowdfunding. Thank you. Thank you very much for dear friends and uh, some of our dear partners. I called the partner because I learned from them since the first meeting in Singapore. And today, this morning, I still have to learn. Why? Because compared to the stage of development, I can be that. I can say that we are in the baby stage. <laughs> you have, we have one year, two years, four years already. So, I, I am very careful in pushing the organization or the business model, get it right, and working model, get it more practical. These two business model and working model very important for crowdfunding. I have no doubt for applying the crowdfunding and to promote in our uh, project. Uh, with your permission, Chairman, can I share some experience? Sometimes we apply something that we have, have learned or learned but not totally understand uh, without any 
good guideline or instruction, we can confuse ourselves and can jeopardize the good things or good crowdfunding process. Once I tour in India for a few days to pay uh, respect to what we call that, they have the yeah. Buddha or something. Yeah. After uh, paying and seeing the interesting thing, mm -hmm. and then the tour guide will take you to the last stop, spend your money to shop. And then the vendor, oh, go very fast to me and say, showing that the fan, the fan, ben, wooden fan. They normally two for one dollar. And then that is the last trip. I'm the last victim of, of that uh, tour already. He said, oh, okay, give you three for one dollar. And this very good friend, this wooden fan, you buy it and last forever. That's why I got six for two dollars without any question. And I, he said, it last for, oh, last forever, last for life. And then I use it, not even get into the bus. The fan finished. I immediately shout, I said, no, friend, you see, this fan is already broke. He said, no, what you are going to use it, how you use it? I said, use this one, this one. He said, no, you don't follow, you don't ask my instruction. I have some guideline to tell you. You have to hold the fan firmly and strongly, like this. Like this. And check your hand <laughs> on this one. Last forever. <laughs> so I am the one who misunderstand of the instruction. If they provide me a right instruction, I won't commit any mistake. Similar to crowdfunding. Since you are listening from the, this morning, you know, what would be the practical guideline? What is the instruction? Most of the time, they will go to see the instruction after the thing finished. <laughs> For instance, the camera. Oh, you shoot, 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 shoot. When they are out of order, they will go, go to see the instruction. I don't want to apply the crowdfunding with a mistake and then go back to act best. What is the solution to help me so that this, this kind of circumstances can, can jeopardize my, my working uh, spirit, trust and belief? You know, I trust you, but I don't believe. Mm -hmm. You know, my daughter trusts me, but they don't, he, he, she didn't believe me in something. And second experience, I talked to my daughter this morning, we had the line. She is the exchange AFS program. <laughs> She's better than me in English. I'm not very good in English. I, I can say that I try to make it understandable and make for at least Thinglish, Thinglish, you know, to, uh, to entertain you. I told her that I will talking about the project and then what is your issue? She asked me, I said, oh, money, money issue, money is a problem. And then she under the lie, Papa, money is not a problem. The problem is that you don't have money in your project. It's not a, a money. So crowdfunding is the same. It's not a money issue. The issue is that how you are going to get the money from the cloud by providing your uh, good and practical working model and working uh, business model. You know, these two have to be very, very attached.
to, to each other. I don't think that bamboo, why bamboo? Everyone would be very surprising. Why bamboo? The Thai, they are very familiar with four kinds of bamboo product. The first thing, in Thai we call soup no mai, bamboo salad. Second, bamboo sticky rice khao lam. Third one, toothpick. The last one, king pa tu. That's the good for what we call that. Pra tu, you know pra tu? Fish. The fish, fish. the steamed fish. They use the basket because other kinds of uh, container cannot last very long for, 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 for boiling. Make a chunder. And this one is very, very pervasive, traditional use. Now, half of the world, the new world, new economy, they are using bamboo for textile, for medical, pharmaceutical, housing, and many, many. The Japanese, they are very good at using bamboo for fighting the earthquake, not prevent to the, the, the earthquake, but they have the bamboo construction to prevent or minimize the damage of the earthquake. That's why the Bamboo Association try to promote this one. They, are, they would like to help the Bamboo Association and some university, including the architecture department of the one uh, outstanding university, to design a house or a building for the people who are sensitive in the earthquake area. The Thai might be familiar with the area we call Pan Chiang Lai. Have really, very, very sensitive on that. And now, most of the rural people, they are familiar with the modern construction with the material and cement. And very risky when they have some earthquake. All the, the building will torn down. And very, 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 very sad that many uh, people. Uh, lost their life. So, this is the best according to le the research that the bamboo and the soil is the, mat the best material to construct the house in that area. But no single organization to help the, some, the farm or the people there to create this, this kind of house. Because this kind of the bamboo house, not in the market. They construct a bungalow. They construct a, 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 a typical one, a fancy one, an expensive one. But this one, practical and safety house, no one cares on that. So our bamboo association, together with three universities, Kasesat University, to help in identify and tell us what kinds of bamboo. Because if you're going to construct a house, you have to use many kinds of bamboo, big and small, and to, to consider. More to that, you have to have a good research on the strength for construction, for architecture. But this is not exist in Thailand, except for in Europe, in Japan, and in some part of China. China, Anji, Anji, Zhe Jiang Seng. You check the... the, and, and, the and how, how you link your, your association into the, the uh, crowdfunding? That, that's why. Yeah. Because the working, we have good people in the team. But I don't think that this, with, this will be enough. I have to transform the good people into great people because and more useful 
to the project rather than good people, good people also say, oh, okay, good, this is good, this is good, but no, not, not, much, not much action and fast enough to capture with the opportunity and the problem. So that, that what, what, what we have to, to, to solve and to accelerate. And more to that, one uh, very, very clear example, because Kun Chai told me that don't scare the Bangkok people. Because the, the mountainous or in Chiang Rai, in Nan, they, they are upstream, upstream. If the forest has been destroyed or deforest, the people tend to have what we call the upland crop, maize. If the more they cultivate maize, the more chemical and uh, uh, insecticide would be applied to their crop. And during the rainy season, the water will drain, take, drain that, drain the water and take the chemical to the river. And the river in Yom and Nan, we go to Chao Phaya and the people in Nan won't take much chemical, but the Bangkok people will take more because they are in the water. And then the water will be treated and then take it to the, uh, what we call it, the public, uh, Nampapa. Mm -hmm. Nampapa on it. So, so the effect is greater than we expected. So they have some, some document mentioned that. And my, 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 my dear uh, president told that, don't scare the Bangkok people. I don't scare them, but I told the fact to them that if you are not prepared to help the Nan people or the mountainous people to cultivate more trees and less upland crop. The effect will go to the Bangkok people rather than the northern people. Thank you very much for the first round. Um, so more or less, you are now working with uh, a, a platform, Sinvatana, in, in, in this uh, crowd to seek for uh, to, the, to the fund to, the, to, to accelerate your uh, project, yes, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Because we, we, we are more taking care of the working system and then the business uh, model and the cloud funding platform. We trust Sinvatana and Sinvatana have to assist and help us to develop the platform to fit to our, our program on that. Um, so need, so need, uh, social enterprise, uh, Probably you, uh, you know, prepare for your uh, Tejai presentation a bit on that, uh, to, so uh, show us, or, or you would like to, to share more on this. Uh, but before that, uh, let, let me ask uh, uh, Tim first. Tim, um, stakeholder, when you were born, you mentioned about SEC, Taiwanese SEC, uh, yourself, education, what else in your stake in, in order to... Um, well, I, I'm talking about sustainability, growth. Um, 2015 is going to be very exciting for us because, um, as I said before, reward-based crowdfunding is really not only the first step to our users, but also for us too. Mm -hmm. And um, we've gotten to a certain point where uh, this year there's a couple things we we're going to do. Um, we want to take... We host regular events and all, all that already, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, kind of creator get-togethers. And, and this year, we're renovating, right now, we're renovating a hotel, oh. uh, well, abandoned hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it's going to be pretty cool because um, uh, it's uh, five stories, and we, wanted, we want all the online activity to happen offline also. So for example, we'll have a live house in, in, in B1, so people could record uh, record, rehearse, and uh, perform there. So people, and uh, first and second floor will uh, be uh, creator meetups. And when you meet other creators, um, what's interesting is because it's on an open platform, so you, you pretty much know who you're meeting, right? Mm -hmm. you know, and then third and fourth would be, uh, would, would, would be um, for different topics too, maybe a, a, a little radio station recordings. So So I guess the popular term is, O2O, <laughs> but, um, 
And another thing is, remember I was mentioning before, I, I believe in between reward and equity, there is a lot to be done. Mm -hmm. And um, um, in, in uh, department store, one thing I've always wanted to do was to mainstream. Mm -hmm. When you start, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, gimmicky, interesting topics, and mm -hmm. which is cool because like for me personally, I, I like my creators to have that attitude when they see another project and I want them to say, what the hell, this sucks. How do they raise so much money? It gives them more, more drive. But uh, I also am more excited to see more and more um, uh, small to medium sized biz businesses uh, use it as a promotional tool. Mm -hmm. But also what I'm talking about this year in mainstreaming is uh, department stores, traditional channels. Oh, interesting. Traditional channels mm -hmm. and it's not just so we have a flying V section. Um, this year we're going to launch in a couple places where, um, and there's a lot of traffic all the time. If you've been to Taipei, it's just insane. I don't know why people shop so much, but um, it, it's kind of like a, 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 a demo, demo room for, for certain projects, funding projects. Also with some um, funded projects and going into channel. It, it should be a hybrid of both. and and. Um, and also back to the SEC uh, equity side, um, uh, we've uh, we've lined up a uh, brokerage license, and also um, with with the house with, with with the renovation, our our capital could go up. Mm -hmm. And so we're we've been trying we've been setting the table. We've been trying to set the rule for equity: who could do it, who could not, for for three years. And mm -hmm. and this year we're we're going to put it all together. Right. Hopefully, right. it'll be pretty exciting. Yeah, well, exactly. Fascinating. Well, back to Kunsanit. Hope you hope you have about two or three minutes. I'll give you three minutes <laughs> about uh, your ready your readiness on on your next step, your your dream. Yeah. Um. I guess. Uh, um. I, I think. Uh, so we have been um, working on a kind of crowd giving platform for the past two years. Um, and we can see some of these projects are very exciting. Um, for example, you know, and have also some development or, or social values as well, similar to what Dr. Tawisak was saying. For example, we have one um, project um, in the three southernmost province of Thailand, which have a lot of um, problem in terms of uh, insurgency and, and so on, you know, and, and the market in those areas are shrinking, actually. Um, so, so, you know, through partnership with Oxfam uh, Thailand, we were managed to get a few projects that develop different kind of, uh, kind of snacks, you know, local snacks made by the, the women groups that, uh, you know, lost her, uh, their husbands in, in the southern insurgency. Um, and then be able to, to raise the fund through Tejai to, to, to develop the product in such a way that it can access other market. You know, in, in creating partnership with designer, with different the people, yeah, um, and working with a listed uh, company association, actually, also they, they were helping. Um, so, so, and now, for example, this product, so initially it started off with like very nice snacks, but tastes very um, hot, you know, even for Bangkok person, like when you have this snack, you, it's like the first one, taste is like so great, but by the third one, you are dead. You know, but now, now they were able to make it a little bit more mild and turn it into almost like a cookie pack, you know, so it can be um, kind of sold in, in different area or upscale the product. So, so there are some, some, some of these uh, things that, that, that are really exciting. Or, or for example, we have uh, one project with, um, so in Thailand, people who like to watch documentary, especially in international documentaries, uh, are quite sad because normally the, the theaters don't kind of bring them in because kind of they thought no one is watching. So we, we help them raise um, around 400,000 baht so far through, through our system um, and, and, and work together with actual the theaters, you know, so that once the money is raised, then it go into like buying the rights to, to display and do the Sorry. translation and do the market testing. Yeah. You know, and now they are moving into the second stage. Uh, so they call themselves documentary club. They are kind of ex bioscope people, okay. um, and, and they are now getting into um, uh, next stage where they are thinking uh, kind of video on demand, video on demand kind of 
of things. Or, or there are different people working on health technologies and so on. So I, I think, like, you know, as SEC is, was saying, I think some of the next stage in terms of some of these really interesting social projects that could turn into social business for us, you know, it's very exciting, especially if we can bring some of them into this crowd equity um, kind of, of process, which as, as you mentioned, the technology side is not really a problem, but it's more about uh, regulations, but also how to work on the trust, how to make sure that everything is right, and how few first projects don't fail. So, so yeah, thank you very much. Well, Chesley, maturity model of the frying we you learn anything from him? Yes, Good. a lot. Actually, I have this cut with him behind the scene a lot. And, and for me, I know him since the crowdfunding Asia at Singapore last time and I was um, and looking at him like a more low model because in Asia. So I, big brother. Yes, big brother. <laughs> and thank you for all of the useful advice. So we, we, we see on our business here and we adapt into our platform. So it, we drive and make it happen. Thank you. Well, now we have five minutes from the floor. Anybody would like to have uh, some question or, or comments or, or advice, actually, if you have. Please, welcome. Yeah, uh, and yes, I think uh, our four gentlemen will be uh, uh, pleased to uh, answer and attend your, your, your question. Please. Um, I have a question for, for Tim. Um, um, you mentioned earlier about the success rate of Flying V, about 47%. Um, is that considered um, uh, usual or you know, satisfactory comparing to other platforms? That, that's the first question. And my second is, um, is that uh, um, regard, when you say the successful rate, is that um, uh, regarding the fundraising or business development? Uh, that's the second question. And the third, the third is, what happened to the unsus unsuccessful projects? Okay, the success rate is based on the number of projects. So 47% means for every 100 projects, 47 of them would be successfully funded. But of course, there are projects that have different goals, right? Some, some want more, some want. And um, um, what's interesting is that, uh, okay, oh, well, one of our policies that, that I was saying with the core value is no matter what, if you publish your project on Flying V, uh, you've, either you fund or fail, it's always on there. It's always there. It's not you fail and then we take it off. We, we don't do that. That's a, one way to establish trust. And during that time, of course, sometimes the creators would complain and all that, but that you, we got to suck it up. And success rate, um, um, it's, it, what's interesting is when you say, do you consider high or low? Um, for, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm getting this right. Like Kickstarter is around, what, 30 now? Or 20 something? It's lower, but I, told, I, I absolutely expect as the number of funding projects go up, the, uh, the uh, success rate will go down. But so far, we've been, we've been around 50% for, for a while as we grow. So um, I don't know, it's, it's, worth, it's interesting to watch. But um, what happens to the uh, projects that, that um, well, what's a nicer way of saying fail? Don't get enough funds on time. Um, <laughs> those, are the cool, that, those are the cool stories. Because uh, we're in our uh, third or fourth year, and Usually, um, the second time around, because there's two types of people, right? Sometimes, some, some people, you know, they try hard and didn't get it on time. They, they'll go back and review what's wrong. That's the cool thing about crowdfunding. I think because it's almost risk, pretty much risk-free for the creator, so you could totally get, take all this feedback, all this data you gain, and make changes to your project or your product and come back again. And there's no rule against it. In fact, I highly encourage it. And recently, uh, there's a TV box. There's quite a few projects that did that. And they uh, usually the second time around, not only do they successfully fund it, it's usually um, uh, way over their, their projected target. And uh, 
we have a um, annual report coming out tomorrow. Um, usually you're like, oh, February, what are, how are you guys doing? Now we do it before, um, we launch it before Lunar Chinese New Year. So that's our excuse. And um, the, all this data could be found on there, but it is uh, mostly, but it's numbers, it should be pretty easy to guess, even if you don't read Chinese. And um, another, another interesting fact is um, we, we, we analyze age and gender, sometimes of our, of our backers, or payment, or, or payment methods. And um, it's about 55 to 45, we have more women backers than men. So I think it's because Taiwanese women are more loving and richer than men, probably. <laughs> and, uh, and also, um, gender-wise, most of our users are around 25 to 34, mm. most of them. Mm. But there are a group of our, 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 our backers are in their 50s. And every time they back a project, they, they don't mess around. It's like <laughs> 80, 80K or our highest, highest transaction was um, 260K. One, one transaction. And um, our oldest creator is 62. Our youngest creator is 14. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. So it's, uh, it's quite interesting. I, I do think, I, I really encourage people to go look at the projects that didn't fund on time because that's where you learn. You see success stories. It's easy, it's easy to, you can't really replicate success, but when you look at um, these projects and you kind of try to, figure out, okay, what, what went wrong, and then you match it with our, we have a, we have a very, very, I believe it's, I believe our tutorial is super detailed. We use examples from our past projects for every aspect of creating and running a project, so that's pretty, pretty interesting too, yeah. Oh, interesting, thank you very much for your fact and figure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I think not only the audience, uh, not, not only us that, uh, uh, got some information, learn a lot more. But I think on this, this, this stage, the, we have a little bit of co collaboration between these four guys. So thank you for uh, these four guys. Tim, thank you. Thank you very much. You. Sumit, thank you. Chai Silit, yeah, and Dr. Thank you.